Hello! What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Breakpoint, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. I'm in a new area again. So the last couple of videos, if you were with me, uh, we were down, down bouncing around down here. I mean, we hit the, um, the oh, right here, the parliament area. You know, we did a bunch of stuff in here. I uh, traveled through the mountains a little bit. We also hit this island down here, which is where we took Paula, uh, what's her mug, and <clears throat> there was a couple kind of like, I don't know, it was, they were still main missions, but they were kind of like, not really fetch missions, but busy work missions. So I went and checked on Paula's husband at the hospital. I went and got some engineer guy, which unlocked, I cleared the data farm. It unlocked these missions here, which is going to be, we got to find Herzog's sergeant right at camp viper which should be fun and then from there we have to reach the natural hazard control center what we're trying to do is we're trying to release that one guy you remember we were chasing him i can't remember their names anyway those missions there but i i completed paula's stuff and i got her back finally she's moved back to uh erwan right so now we've got paula the engineer we've got maurice and we've got Jace Skell is all here and they're working on the old back door to to maybe open up a zone for us to escape this island. Now, this was one of the missions that we got right after, you know, as well, just like the Paula mission right after we rescued Skell. Apparently here um, he needs advanced AI and this Christina Cromwell may know how to get to it. So I had to go to this point here and take a little wooden boat and go all the, you can see my pathway I, I took here it's actually pretty long it took a while to go there and then here is an awesome wolf base it's 150 it just it was red i just got some new gear from some dudes i killed over here uh so i can't wait to do that but we're on the this set of islands up here this sugarloaf mountain and it's called like cape cape north oh here it is cape north yeah so we got to hit this area here. I know that's a lot of talking and sorry. It's like bringing you guys up to speed and real quick. What are we running? We are running the TAC 50, my favorite weapon. And this Flycatcher P90 has turned out to be pretty good. What's good about it? Well, the recoil pattern is pretty manageable. The damage is good like the UMP was, um, but it's got a 50 round magazine. That's the big deal. Now you can add high capacity magazines to your other SMGs, but this comes standard with it. So in real life, it has a 50 round magazine as well, but it shoots 5.5, uh, the 5.7, not the 5.56. And the 5.7, they're short, like pistol size, not long rifle size. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's a very strange, if you ever seen like a, Oh, and I got a P320. If you guys don't know what a P320 is, this is now, this replaced the Beretta M9. This is now our the U.S. Army's sidearm right here, the P320 from Sig Sauer. So that's what that is, and I have one of those IRL. I actually have the military version of it, which is awesome. I, I was poking through to see what the heck these things were up here. Check this out. It says story completion zero. Uh, okay, that's a glitch. 31 hours playtime, uh, 2,000 kills, and out of 2,000 kills, 1,000 more headshots. Jam! And what's my most played weapon? The TAC-50. I told you guys I was a sniper. I told you. All right, so that's where we need to go, right over there. So let's go over there. I still haven't done the, very, the last challenge of the Panther to get to level 10. Once I get level 10, I think the reward for that is that you don't lose damage on your SMG with the suppressor, which is, that's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. We might actually, you know what? We should just go for it right here with these fools. You can see there's some uh, stuff laying over here. There's some stuff. That's, uh, I killed a couple of wolves over there, but I had to wait. I was rendering a video for Chris X and it when when I the way I have it set up when I render it's like it takes all my resources so I can blast through the render so it's like uh, 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 you can't really play while you're rendering 
get rid of that. I don't want to run over there with a drone. So with the, what I have to do with this is I have to run up. I have dead body found. What do you mean dead body found? How about dead drone found? I have to run up, throw my cloak down, and then kill three dudes. Oh, they're kind of spreading out, which isn't good. That echo sounded like there was someone right over there. See how they're spread out? I need them to be closer together. It's not. I've tried it already, and I messed it up because I thought I killed a guy, and I came came off of him and started killing the other dudes, and I didn't kill him. So you you don't have that much time on this meter. That dude's way over there. These two guys are going this way. There, uh, man, I really messed this one up. They're all spread out. They couldn't be any farther spread out. Oh, shoot. You have such a limited time to do this. Ah, oh, dude, I can't... Dang it, I'm right in the middle of them all. Gotta wait for this heli to go by. Okay, that guy's running back. That guy's running back. How about that guy? Wow, that was weird. Why were they running like that? Oh, come on, brother. Come over here. I want to get this. I want to get my suppressor up to full juice. Why do I have C4 on? All right, while we're waiting. Why do I have C4 on? Probably should switch back to the grenade. That's Mark 1s. Hey, we got Mark 2 grenades. Radius 8, radius 6. All right. And then I have no balls. <laughs> Meaty 2019, dude. I've not got none of these balls. You know? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just throw a... EMP Mark III on this bad boy in case we run into a drone. That guy is... Alright. He's really burning my bridges here. I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. Oh shoot, where is he? Got it! Ooh, ooh! Panther! Meaty's a panther, rank 10. All right. What else did I get? Any reward? Come on, something. Oh, I got a uh, a Scorpion Evo 3 CQC. So that's a real gun. I mean, the, you guys, most people are familiar with the Scorpion Evo from first-person shooter games. But there is a carbine version of it. And what do I mean by that? Instead of like a, a four or six-inch barrel of the regular Scorpion... The Scorpion Evo 3, I also got the blueprint for it, so we can test that thing out too. It's still going to shoot a 9mm pistol caliber, but that's probably a, it could be a 16 inch barrel to make it uh, legal for um, not having to classify it under NFA, National Firearms Act, to be a short barreled rifle, which requires a tax stamp in the United States. $200 tax stamp in about a year's wait. Well, I mean, it varies, but. All right, looks like, whoa, this whole place is a, all right, let's get some cover. Let's take a look and see what this place looks like because it looks like I only see one entrance here. And if that's the case, it's going to be heavily guarded. One entrance there. Wow, dude, I like this place. Out of all the places I've seen, I would want to live here or work here. Look how cool this is. Who doesn't like water? Like everybody likes lakes and ponds and pools and all that fun stuff but this this looks pretty trick all right fine now i don't have my um my cloak and run charged up obviously because i just used it so all you gotta do is you gotta kill kill some people and it'll charge up that meter and i do have it uh, a skill point where it's like gives you a better a faster percentage of charge up all right we definitely got to get those rocket dudes i'd miss some in one of the places i was clearing out and like who the heck is firing mortars at me? And it wasn't mortars. It was, it's the rocket guy, and they are so accurate, and they're pretty fast to do it. 
They were like up on a building like that. It was crazy. There's got to be another dude here knowing Ubisoft. The dude over there. Not that it matters. I'm going to be making some noise here. Are these guys going to swing right by me with this vehicle? They are. If I do this, though, they're going to stop right next to me. That's who I got to get, that driver. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude, that dude just got burned. Did you see that? Dude, I didn't have to shoot him. He got run over by his own truck. So this was, you can see, it says take. Let's see what we get out of this truck. Looks like a... What is that? That's that weird gun, again, that I, I classified as a um, Springfield XD with that little uh, grip safety. So, all right. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was the, that was the easiest truck takedown I've ever had. All right, we got to take this thing out for show. That poor guy was walking over to it when I was going to shoot it. Now, if I was in sniper mode, my, my special ability would be kind of an armor-piercing type bullet. It's not armor piercing. I think it's like deeper penetration or something like that. Oh, he's on this side. What a... He was on this side. I can't believe that. Shoot his gun. There you go. Where's the radio, dude? Come on. Come on. Oh, drone. Don't do that to me, please. So this, this Flycatcher P90 that I'm using, I got that from Killing Flycatcher. I think I recorded that. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, it has it, one of its... Uh, what the heck is that? There's the... Re oh, wow. I was able to see the reinforcements coming in. How weird is that? It's dumb luck that I just looked that way. They know I'm here, don't they? Look at them. Gonna, if they stop right there, that's totally Ubisoft. Look at that. I have a drone on me again? Dude, I've completely ran away from where I was seen. This is Ubisoft at its best, giving away my position. Alright. How's your... Who the heck is seeing me up here? How's your reinforcements doing? Just wondering. What was I seeing a second ago? Anyway, it's got a plus 10%. Its attribute is uh, damage to drones. Damage to drones. I forgot about these dudes. Where is he? Shoot him in the bell in the hip. Ooh, hip kill. Hip kill. I really enjoy doing this, you guys. That's why I play a lot. Where I'm not, I'm not recording because I'm doing this a lot. I'm sitting up on a hill, coming to, coming upon a, a facility like this and just. Just sniping these dudes. If I can shoot through that roof or not, it's, it was worth the effort. Another truck back there? That should have been a hit, that first one. That was a ripoff. Yeah, so I know that this kind of stuff isn't the most fun to watch, but I tell you, it's super fun. To Whoa, dude, step on the gas. Dude drives like I do. Oh, this guy down here? No way that guy saw me down there. It must have been this dude. And this is fine. Look, if you can get him to come after you up here, then you're not... Once you get down in those facilities like that, you have no cover. There's no cover. All right, the rocket guy has got... The rocket guy's red. That's not... That's never a good thing. There's no cover down in those facilities. So you, you're in it to win it, and that's fine. If you're in... If you're in for the fight, you're in for the fight. You're gonna do it, do it. Dude, that guy thought he could hide behind a tree branch. Get out. I hear a drone. I hear a drone. Right there. It's a heavy. The heavies are so dumb. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Can you turn around? No, didn't think so. What is this, Australia? The guy's driving from the right side? Did you see that? What is this, the UK? Get out of here, dude. No, he slid over because he's a baby. I don't think that sign is going to cover you, is it? Yeah, apparently that sign is bulletproof. 
I hear some kind of drone down here, you guys. There it is. Oh no, is it one of those vehicle drones? I'm gonna put on my EMP just in case. I haven't been able to EMP one of them yet. Maybe we should try that right now. Or we could get killed. There's definitely a... Yeah, there it is. Shoot that, that core in there. Paul is the one that developed the core. That wasn't loud at all. I mean, if you didn't raise awareness before that... Alright. I think we did a pretty good job. We gotta, gotta get a, a line... Oh, 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 oh. Gotta get a line on that, dude. Do not want to mess with those guys at all. Now, there's another set of guys on the... He's not on the roof. I thought he was on the roof. All right. Now, also, I found out the hard way. If you crouch, you don't go sliding. Which, I don't know what fun that is, but it looks like you're twisting your ankle every other step. But that's fine. All right. Let's see what kind of BS these guys want to offer up here. Rocket dude over there? Yeah. That means there's another rocket dude over here that I did not see earlier. Oh, I'm telling you guys. How many times I gotta tell you I'm a sniper? Someone's pushing up. Stay out of the open. So the the thing about sniper rifles are especially these bigger bolt actions they're they you they've got some forgiveness in them meaning you don't have to get that absolute what the heck how'd you see me yeah just run straight toward me that's a perfect idea you got you sentinel dudes sentinel for days What was I saying? Uh, if they're more forgiving, uh, you can hit the shoulder. You can, you know, you don't have to hit the headshot. What is this guy doing? Is he he's stuck on that bench right there? Had about enough of that, dude. All right, we're supposed to go all the way out there. Sniper that dude he's like you know i ain't going out there i ain't going out there fellas i want to see let's see if there's anything decent at this facility so we got oh there's a blueprint for an ak-12 which i think is pretty low damage rifle it shouldn't be but it is a bunch of collectibles I'm not sure what those collectibles do for you ultimately it's got a scorpio a mark 14 it's got a beretta m9 nomad cap so yeah, if we see a chest, we get it. The main thing, I mean, there's obviously there's a collectible right over there, it shows. Upstairs. Not sure that's worth it right now. Did that guy come downstairs? He did. He's coming downstairs. Yeah, you should have stayed up there, dude. Don't want to take a pot shot. We got hot. I got tangos over here. Did not even see that guy coming out. You like my P90? Look at oh, media! I was, I was a big fan. Why'd you shoot me? I just gotta make sure I got my sniper reloaded. It's my go-to. So yeah, it's it's a, a lot. Sounds like a turret over there shooting at me. Did you hear that? Or were you listening? Turret. Um, okay, I'm not sure how I one-shot that turret, but must have been a sweet spot. <sighs> I gotta finish my thought. You can shoulder hit, belly hit, whatever. There, it's In real life, if you got hit by a 3-3 Lapua, you're, you're done, right? You're done. It's gonna take an arm off. You, you, you know, so that's realistic sniping. You know, we play some games where like, oh, I can't believe you one shot me with a sniper. Listen, if you get hit with a big caliber bullet, it's, you know, game's over. <laughs> you get hit with a rifle round, it's possible if it doesn't hit any major organs or anything, or any uh, 
femoral arteries or anything like that, then you, I'm not saying you're going to be fine, yeah, but head, you got a chance. You don't really have a chance when you get hit with a high velocity, large caliber sniper rifle. So, that being said, this gun's more forgiving in the game, and that's true to life. True to life. Plus, this gun probably weighs 25 pounds. Nobody's going to be, maybe even more than that with this uh, suppressor on the end of it. Oh, by the way, it was so funny because, I don't know if it's if it's if this part interests you guys, but I identified this, the suppressor saying it was a B&T suppressor just by the look of it. That's how I'm identifying this stuff, right? Remember I said B&T made in Switzerland? Well, check this out. I just noticed that if you go in and you look at the suppressor, look at it right there. PDW Multical made in Switzerland. It is actually the B&T suppressor made by B&T for HK and for themselves, but they also private label some to HK. So that's how I'm identifying. And that right there just reinforces that they did a really good job on the models, the models. Right. Well, I think we pretty much cleared everybody else out. It's time to time to get ugly in here. Oh, if you can see now, look at the you can see more room like when I'm running. I I opened up my field of view. There was an advanced field of view for the third person. So I can see around me a little bit more and I always use first person for shooting. I like that in this game. There's some games where third person is the way to go. This one I like the combination, but I should have Look for that advanced FOV earlier because it really makes a difference when you're moving around. That almost seemed like a drone spotting me. These guys are all upstairs. That was, uh, I was just messing with her. She's a collaborator. Okay, upstairs, bio. They usually are positioned pretty good on the stairs. They've got themselves a good position. So that's why I'm being a little bit, they're all above me. All along this catwalk here too. And the stairs are right there, so. Okay, those guys are morons. There's a dude up there. Something's up. I know it. Hey! Stay soft. There are signs of possible enemy activity. <laughs> what what gate? Oh shoot! There's a whole grip of them in there. Look at all those things. Okay, wait a minute. That's that's malarkey, Ubisoft. I cleared though that I cleared that area over there. Oh, we're in trubs, dude. Unless those are a bunch of drones. That is a lot of something. That floor is not going to protect you. That's a lot of something coming from you over there. I was pretty sure I cleared all the outside, but that means there could be people in the building over there because it horseshoes around both directions. All right, fine. Enemy fighters! Ubisoft, please don't stick me to the damn wall. There's three floors, four, five floors. They could be anywhere. Oh, I had a civilian while I was trying to do that kill three people, three enemies while in that cloak mode. He stood up right on my third one and I domed him. Domed him, man. Yeah, the P90 is pretty good. Like I said, really, when you get in a fight with multiple people, it's uh it's the magazine capacity that's so good. Moving, moving. See, it's pretty accurate too. If you hold it down, it's going to it's going to go wild on you just like any gun. What the shit? Where did I kill this yellow one downstairs? Oh, it must be that big. Oh, I see. He flanked around this way. Big boy did. Where'd this guy come from? Give me a yellow uh, XD Springfield. Gotta go upstairs again. It's a 5.7. 
Sorry about whipping around. When I'm inside, I really gotta whip my, my screen around. Isn't there a... Oh, it's up even one more floor. Who's seen me? I got eyes on him! On the freaking move! On the freaking move! Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude! Alright, let's go upstairs. Dude, that guy... He's upstairs, okay. Get this ammo. Gonna be up another floor. Hi. Right. So th I think this is a side mission. That indicator I found out is side missions. Ah, uh, not another one. What the hell is this? Ah, uh, so sorry. Were you trying? To uh, n no. But well, that's well. If it's causing this, I'm just yeah. getting through it, guys. Uh, okay. It'll be it'll be available for me if I want to do it. See, new mission. It's a side mission cover up in the archipelago. Whatevers. Let's go up another level. Looks like it's pretty well cleared out. I don't see any red. Might as well go down and collect this thing. It's a skill point, I believe. Skill point? Anything else on this level? That one's down below. That crate. Who knows where that crate is? It's way outside somewhere. If the crates are here, you might as well grab them, right? I usually take every, all the guns and stuff that I get and I, I dismantle them because I use those parts to upgrade whatever gun I like to a Mark III variant. Mark two, Mark one, Mark two, Mark three. There's the guy we're looking for. New bio. Hey, open this door, man. All right, this is the guy, I guess, we're looking for. Dr. Christina Parker. Cromwell. My name is Nomad. I was a soldier in one of the choppers that crashed on Aurora. I'm working with Jay Skell. He's alive? Oh. I mean, Ayana Puri's announcements are so scary. How is he? Well, we're working to get civilians safely off of Aurora. But we need your help. But this island, the ex-cop who works for Sentinel, Ian Blake, he's got this island locked tighter than... <laughs> Who's well, Ian Blake? That's another new name. Made to keep us safe? They're now keeping us prisoner. That's ironic. There's a big difference between surveillance to keep people safe and being a totalitarian peeping Tom. Yeah, yep. I can't object to that sentiment. Look, now Jace thinks he could take down enough of the drones so we can get some people out of Aurora and bring some help in. And Jace wants the AI. Bingo. The security team ran an assessment on our systems a couple of months ago. If you can find those reports, it'll, you know, give me an in on how to hack the AI. Won't those holes be fixed by now? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Most advanced place on the planet, but the bureaucracy is as slow as anywhere. Try Archimedes Hall. That's the data center. You should find the reports there. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, that's a thing. Tell me it's here. It is here. Okay, that's good. So that's where all those other dudes are. So the one thing that, uh, you know, when you make an open world game like this, just like all the other ones, there's stuff gets repetitive, right? It's inevitable. It's the style of game. But in this one, I found that the, the one of the predictive patterns that they do is... Instead of go fetch missions, you know, a lot of these games have those go fetch missions. Go get this, go get that, go get this, go get that. Um, this one has a tendency to... What is that? Scale credits? Electronic sensor. 
This one has a tendency, you go to a place and it tells you to go to another place, to go to another place, to go to another place. I don't mind this. Like, a big facility like this, utilize it. You built this whole place. Now, I saw a dude over here and he may be on the roof. I don't see it. But this isn't bad. It's like, okay, it's still within the same, same facility. Ah, shoot. Nice shot, matey. That dude can run fast! Holy cow, that dude's fast. Look at him. Oh my god. I didn't even want to shoot him so fast. That guy should not have shot at me. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, peek, 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 peek. I got somebody else shoot. There's two of them there. See how the range is on this. Not bad. Not too shabby. Definitely got to tap fire it. To tap, 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 tap a -roo. It's like, oh, you vanished. Uh... Get across over there. Do I really have to go back to the start? No, there's a walkway here where they came across. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the P90 is good. I, I mean, I did really like the the ump, but this is a um, what would you call it? You know, a boss's gun, a special special gun. It's good. It's got that gold star. Gold star for meaty. is down you're inside it's gonna be hard to to God, peek it. Him down. There he is. dude once you face the other way you big jerk Ooh. bump helmet it's hard to see inside when you do this unless they do that you can shoot them looks like one or two more guys maybe max That might have been the last dude. All right, gather intel. Time to hack. Time to hack. Nope, there's still some more dudes in here. That's hostiles. We are under attack. All right, where's the dang door? Contact, contact. I got you. I didn't kill him, so I could interrogate him. Surprise, shitbag. Give me your PC password. This ends without you screaming in pain. All right, okay. Look, I'll talk. Here's my password. I got a Notice how they're all commanders in here? It's probably so you could collect the intel from their, their passwords. Wait, I just knocked him out, right? Thanks for the info. hack get this thing a little info a little investigations while we're in here why not whiteman shelf bivouac all right i can always use a bivouac that i don't know about hopefully those don't give me like ones that i already know the woe of wit achievement unlocked whatever that means new clue all right looks like those got it for me this looks like the next building or back in here back into there okay Investigation time. Campus network overview. All right, we need to take a look and see what they're saying about this. 
Security hacking data on operations and network. Two main parallel networks must be verified, regulated by the security network, which restricts access information, which holds all research data, therefore guaranteeing database integrity. Detailed. So I still need this clue here. Unlock and complete Operation Greenstone of Blake's Law. All right. Back this way. Upstairs, you say? Where's your staircase? Here we go. New clue. <coughs> I've completed my assessment, the infrastructure, long security free mode, campus network. Okay, all right, we got that. Consult that. We got that. Consult that. Talk to Cromwell. What do you know? Did you, did you let me guess, you're still up, you're still up there where you were before. She better have a she better have an answer with this information I just collected from these database servers. Now, why don't they let me blow them up? I mean, that would be the coolest thing to do. See, this part right here is a little bit of that back and forth to make the game longer than it needs to be. You know? I'm going to go back and talk to her and that's going to be that. Or she's going to tell me, "Not enough information, you need to go somewhere else." You, what do I look like? Your errand boy? You want me to go collect information for you? Like most people I'm helping here, they're not very gracious, right? They're not like, whoa, thank you. The one, one outcast lady, she calls me brute force. Like that's insulting. I mean, I may be brute for force, but I don't necessarily want to be called that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. It looks like a previous hack attempt was halted by the automated security network. Cybersecurity wasn't part of my... It's not my thing. But I mean, yes, we should be able to bring the network down. Is this going to be more computer hacking? For me. For you, it's more like shooting and exploding stuff. Ooh, I like that. That'll do just fine. All right, let's resolve it. Nomad okay. must... Inch In theory... I could right. download the AI if you can plug a dongle into the system at the comm center. But I mean, he's not stupid. Blake is using our security network. So can we get the network down? We just need it down long enough for the upload. Yeah, sure. Taking out the mountaintop antennae would slow the network down on Darkwood Island. That would buy you time. But the hard lines, if you can also cut the hard lines, but those are like in this cavern by the coast. Ooh, cavern time. If you time. can also cut those, I should be able to download the AI. You just sit tight. I'll make it happen. You're, wow. You're confident. I'll meet you at the spot I put on your map. Good luck. Well, she's just gonna cruise over there, like no issue. So those of you who don't know, if it was before your time, you may be asking what the hell a dongle is. All right, a dongle is a thumb drive. It's a USB stick. Before USB sticks existed, they called them dongles. You would plug them into your computer and they would add, they would expand something or they would be an actual hard key to unlock a program. That's what a dongle is. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Comment, like, share, jump up and down. See you next episode.